hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today i'll be showing you how i made this gorgeous ball dress my daughter is rocking she absolutely loves it please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video if you have not seen how i made this gorgeous dress my two-year-old is rocking please check out my channel the video is up already thank you so to make this ball dress I need my this is medium to hard tool this is soft tool this soft tool is 10 inches wide this is how I bought it and I have this one too this is 6 inches wide so now you know the um, skirt part of the ball gown has um a joining that's the style at the bottom so this is what I'll be using to cut the bottom part for the first layer, I'm going to cut 10 yards of this one. For the first layer of the ball dress. And I'm going to cut this one 20 yards. Because I'll be gathering this one on top of this one. So if I cut 10 yards of this, I have to cut 20 yards of this. Like, I have to, or even 30 yards of this. Like, doubly. What I have here is 100 yards. And what I have here is 100 yards. So you also need your satin fabric. And then the lace fabric I'll be using for the upper bodies. So this is the lace fabric I'll be using for the upper bodies. And then I'm going to cut out of the tool to form some ruffles around the upper bodies too. So to start, we'll draft our pattern. This um, ball gown is for, the measurement I'm working with is for 4 to 5 years. And see this is the measurement I'm working with. It's for the age range of 4 to 5 years. So as usual, I'm going to cut the front bodies and I'll use the front bodies to draft out the back bodies. So I'm going to rule my starting line. This is for the front. And then I'll insert my half length. The half length is 10 plus 1 inch seam allowance will be 11. Next thing I will insert my shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 10, half of 10 is 5 inches. And the armhole depth I'm working with is 6 inches. So I'm going to drop down 6 inches here and mark. Now you're going to connect this shoulder to the armhole depth. On this armhole, you are going to mark your chest measurement, which is 23. We're going to divide 23 into 4 places. So we're going to have 5.75 or 5.8. Just mark it and add one inch seam allowance. Now you're going to rule one line here. Now on the half length, you are going to insert the waist measurement. And the waist is 22. You are still going to divide 22 into four places and add your one inch seam allowance. Now, again, to connect the waist measurement to the um, bust measurement. It's always better to take a child's measurement because this measurement I'm using now tell you that there are some three years old that will use this measurement when the child is chubby. So, next thing we're going to insert the neck width. I will be working with neck width of 3 inches. I want the neck a little bit open. And, another, and the neck depth of 3 inches. Now I'm going to connect the neck width to the neck depth. It's a round neck. Now on the shoulder, I'm going to come down half an inch for the shoulder slant. And I'll connect it to the neck width. Now on the armhole, I'm going to um, measure, measure the half of the measurement of the armhole and then mark it I'm just gonna come in by half an inch here 
and i'm going to connect these three points the shoulder slant to this middle and then to the chest measurement now we're going to take half inch seaming allowance around the neck the shoulder and the arm hole So next thing, we're done drafting the pattern, we'll cut it out. So now I'm done cutting the front bodies. I'm going to use this pattern to cut the back bodies. All you need to do is roll one inch zipper allowance. So I want to tape it down so it doesn't move. So now for the neckline, I'm going to come up by one inch. Depends on you. Remember the front is three inches. Okay, I'm going to come up by one and a half. And I use my cuff to connect it. So now I'm going to cut it out. I'm not I'm not coming out by one inch for the armhole. I'm gonna leave the armhole like that. So now we have the front and the back bodies. And this is the front and this is the this is the front, this is the back. I'm just gonna use it to cut out the main fabric. So now after cutting everything, just go ahead and top stitch the lace and the satin fabric together just, just so you secure it and then when you are done doing that, you're going to join it on the shoulder You're going to join half an inch on the shoulder for your main fabric and then do the same for your lining So after I'm joining it like this, because I'm doing ruffles around here, I'm going to cut this two I'm going to cut 10 yards out of this two and divide it into two Okay, so I'm going to measure 10 yards and cut it. So I've gone ahead to gather that too. What I did was, I didn't cut it again. I just folded it into two and gathered it. And then I ironed it because it was standing too much. So I'm going to measure two and a half inches round. Two and a half inches. When I get to this point, I'll reduce it to two inches, and then when I get to the shoulder joining, I'm going to reduce it to one and a half inch. So just measure the middle will be two and a half, middle will be two and a half, and then I'm going to measure you won't sew it to up to the zipper, I'm going to leave one inch and stop there because of the zipper. So now the back, I'm still going to measure two and a half. And then just try and curve it like from two and a half to two inches and then the shoulder one and a half inch. I know you can't see what I'm marking because I'm using a white choke. I don't want to stain the dress. So now all you need to do is place it on top like so and sew it around. I'm just going to press it on top like so I see so I'm going to sew it on top like so so now I'll attach this one. I just sewed it round. So I'm gonna take the lining, right side facing right side, and I will turn the neck from the zipper line round to the other zipper line. Then I also turn the armhole. If I'm turning the armhole, I'll make sure like this net here, I push it inside, and then I'll turn the armhole. I'm gonna stitch it like so. Please make sure to push that net inside. And then do the same for the other side so now i'm done sewing it sewing the neck and the ammo and i've turned it out and so i'm going to take this right side that's the back bodies on the front bodies and i'm going to sew my one inch down to the lining and i'll do the same for the other side this is just to close the sides of the, um, the top the bodies so after closing the side all you need to do is open it up like so and iron it 
Mä oon nyt tän ajonit. Ja sit. And so we do with the upper body, so we're going to set it aside and do the skirt part. So the skirt left I'm working with is 15 inches. I'm going to cut this at in 15 inches. And the width of this at is 2 yards. I'm just going to cut 15 inches in length, but it's 2 yards in the width. So now you're going to notch the middle. And then you're going to use half an inch to stitch the bottom. And then you're going to gather it. We're working with a waist of 22 inches. You're going to gather it to be 24 inches because of 2 inches seam allowance for your zipper. So I've already sewn the edge of this one and I just gathered the waist too. Going to gather the waist so next thing i've cut out this net the length of this net is 15 inches and the width is five yards i have five yards here and five yards here i'm just going to gather them together and put it on top after that before i'll cut out this one i'll cut this one out maybe in five years on or ten years i don't know let me gather this step first so I'm done gathering it into two places. I'm going to step it on top. Before I step it, I'll leave one inch. Before I start um, sewing it on top, I'm just going to leave one inch. That's the zipper line. And then I'll just press it on top to the end. I'll do this too. I'll press this one on top too. So now I've gathered it on top, you can see. This is it it's very puffy already so this one i'm just going to cut six yards of this one and then the shorter one i'm going to cut um about 40 yards so i'm going to cut about 40 yards of this and six, just six yards of this why i'm cutting just six yards of this because the dress is already full so I don't need to gather too much on top of it again. So I'm just going to cut 6 yards and then this one 40 yards. Gather this one much because it's going to be at the bottom. So guys, I'm done sewing the last steps, you see. So all I'm going to do now is attach the bodies. This is it. So to attach the bodies, I'm going to flip it over like so. And then now... We're going to sew the main fabric and the skirt together. Sew from this end of the zipper line to the other end. So this is it. This is what the dress looks like now. So I'm just going to fix in the second lining, which is this. The width of this one is 60 inches and the length is 15 inches so i'm just gonna fold fold one inch here at the bottom and then run gathers on the other edge make sure to notch the middle so that when you are sewing you place it in the middle too and then after gathering it i'm just going to sew from this zipper line to the other end of the zipper line so i'm done fixing the lining I'm just going to close them up separately, like close them up, come down 5 inch from the waistline so the and close like it up. I'm going to close the net separately like too and then insert the zipper. So, share this video with your friends and So now I'm going to put in this Don't trimming. To subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys I'm going to be putting video. it around the and neck line me, here. Uh, comment so I'm just going to be using if you have any glue gun so to apply there.